self-talk to success in five steps. We talked about this yesterday. We're going to go over that a little bit more today. Lenny Winterstrom with you, and I am here to help you, to guide you to find your purpose or to activate it, to engage in it, to anything, to actually get more skills around it, but to to find that purpose that you feel is that overarching purpose that is your your reason for being here, your mission on planet Earth, which by the way, we've talked about can change as you grow and, and change in your life. But that overarching that is at this point, what is it that you, why are you here? What is your mission when you came to planet Earth? So what is it, what gives you meaning as well? So I use as a tool to guide you, one of the tools I use is Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. And you can see the sun is going down back there, down, down, down. So it's beautiful and I, I, you can't see me that great, but that's okay. That's more beautimous and the message is the important part here. So just listen, put your listening ears on. You ready? So today is day 188, 178 days left in 2024 and we are 51.37% complete with the year. We are counting down. So. July 6th, let's go through uh, Dr. Shad Helmstetter's, his, what he, um, his passage for today. It's not luck, in quotes, that makes my life work. It's how I look at it. I choose to see the bright, find the good, believe in a positive outcome, and always have faith that I will overcome the challenges and succeed. And because that's how I choose to look at my life every day, time after time, I win. Yes, you do. You always win. You are a winner. You were born to be a winner. You are a winner. That's just how it works. And you may not know that you're a winner. You may not feel like you're a winner, but you are. You were born a winner. You were born with every promise and potential, like unlimited promise and potential. And then you got programmed with other people's programs who were programmed. <laughs> and the media and religious leaders and, you know, friends and neighbors and, and peers and and uh, your siblings and aunts and uncles and all of your friends, all of that. So just over and over, the more that you heard something, the more that it was repeated, you took it in, your brain recorded it. It didn't just record it, but the more it was repeated, that's the key to neuroplasticity, right? That's the key is the, re is the repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. The more it's repeated into your brain, the more it becomes wired into your bra brain and that becomes a program that then becomes a belief. And here is where we go into this, the self-talk tip 25 that we were talking about yesterday because it just flows through here, is the when you change your self-talk, you change what you believe about yourself. So this is so importante that you understand that your beliefs are just programs and you can change any belief. Like say someone who's shy. So someone who says, I'm so shy. Oh, the wind is picking up and I don't have my microphone. So I'm hoping that you can hear me. So um, I might have to redo this. If I do, I'll come back. And so anyway, the, so, but somebody who's shy, that is a program. You think about, you know, little Timmy or little Miss Emily and, and somebody comes up to say hello to them and they go behind their mommy's leg. They're really little. They're like two or three. And then everyone starts saying, oh, little Emily, she's so shy. She's just so shy. And everybody starts repeating, she's so shy. And then little Emily just keeps acting out like, oh yeah, I'm so shy. Okay, I'm so shy. I'm so shy. And pretty soon that's a program. And then she starts saying, when she meets someone, I'm just shy. I'm so shy. It's a program. It's a program. And little Emily, that's now maybe big Emily, can change that by changing her self-talk, which she can get the program, the self-talk app, in the description. So Emily, if you're listening and you're so shy, you can get, you can change that and you can be outgoing and not be shy or however it is that you want to be. It's just a program and you can change that by going, by listening to the positive self-talk that Dr. Shad Helmstetter has put together. And that is in the description. Always you get 30 days free and it is after 30 days, you, it's $19.99 and you can have a month and you can have up to six people on that account, super generous. What app says, come one, come one, come all, family, let's get you all the self-talk in the house. It's an amazing, generous gift that, that Dr. Shad does 
with that, the self from the Self Talk Institute. Okay, so let's keep going then. When you change your self talk, you change what you believe about yourself. When you change what you believe about yourself, you change your attitude. And we talked about this for July 5th, which was actually just a little minute ago because I was a little bit late. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't, I skipped the, a day. But anyway, so when you change what you believe about yourself, you change your attitude. When you change your attitude, you change your feelings, how you feel about it. When you change your feelings, you change your actions, what you do. And when you change your actions, you change your results. So you think about, let me give you a really good example from myself. I could give you all kinds of examples, but I mean, for me, I'm, I'm living my life. And so I have lots of examples from my life. So, <laughs> so let me give you one. So I have in, the, I have an online business, obviously. I am here and, you know, I make, I have coaching clients. So I make money online. And, and one of the things that over all these years that has happened to me, and it continues to happen to me, and I think it continues to any entrepreneur, is the tech. So the tech gets in the way sometimes. And, and look what I just said, the tech gets in the way. Because every single time, including today, when I'm doing something, something happens that is, that is challenging. And I literally had to change and create some self-talk around for myself, for these, for the tech that it, because I'd say, oh, it gets in the way. And I still, and, and that program is still programs around that, that it's not just challenging, but it's very difficult. That's also a program. Is it difficult or I got this, I can do this. I can figure it out. So, so I can say it's difficult and what's my, that's my attitude, right? And what's my feeling? Oh, I don't want to do this. That I'm still working on all of this. <laughs> but you can see the progression. But, but what I have done, which is really cool because I am doing this for myself, is, is then, so my belief is no longer that, that it's, it's so difficult and I can't do it. Like other people can do it. Why is it so easy for other people? This is what I used to say years ago. Man, it just seems like all these programs and these all, and I'm talking not programs like the brain, the neuroplasticity programs that we always talk about. I'm talking about actual software programs that people can just slide in and out and get them done and get their funnels done. And if you don't know what that means, that's fine. But <laughs> all of these things get their, their shopping carts and, and no problem, no problem, get their landing pages. And these are just things that an entrepreneur, an online entrepreneur deals with uh, on a daily basis, depending on what they're doing and, and other things, their emails and all of that. And, and so that, uh, the belief, it, it, and, and remember here it goes. So when you change your self talk, you change what you believe about yourself. So what did I do? I changed my self talk because it was difficult. It was trying, it was challenging. I didn't just say it was challenging. It was so hard. Why is why has everything happened to me? <laughs> I can still feel it in my body. It's like, ah, <laughs> when something happens and it's like, then I change my self-talk because I'm editing. I am monitoring what I'm saying and I'm editing. Remember, we've talked about that too. So I'm very, very aware of that. So, so, but that belief, I'm changing that belief about that I'm capable. I can do this. If other people can do it, I can do it too. And what, when you change what you believe about yourself, you change your attitude. So I've been changing my attitude about it. Okay, it's not so difficult, it's challenging, but I got it, I got it. When you change your attitude, you change your feelings and I don't feel so intensely like, arg. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that for me a whole lot anymore. Every once in a while, I slip back into those old programs because they're, they're, they're deep. I've been doing this for a lot of years. So when you change your feelings, you change your actions. So my action, instead of, you know, throwing the computer across the floor, which I never did or would do, but, <laughs> but instead of stomping my foot and saying, oh, I'm not doing this. Well, what I used to do is like get up and go eat something or get up and walk outside. Like just, I would get, I would find something to distract me because I'd be so upset inside. And so that, that action of, you know, avoiding and, and all of that, rather than just calming myself and my belief that I can do this, you got this, and it's not difficult. So all of that, so that all changed. And when I changed my actions, 
I change my results. I get things done and I get them done timely. They, <laughs> it's like, okay. And, and if I can't, if, if I am unable to, if I am incapable at that moment of having the answer, I can find someone to help me. So, and I, and I have that in my head. It's like, I don't have to go it alone. I have so many friends that I, through the years that are entrepreneurs that I can reach out and touch someone <laughs> and say, you think you could help me or go to a, a place like it's called Fiverr. Maybe if you're an online entre entrepreneur, you probably know about that. Um, but, but Fiverr, they, they, they have a lot of people that hire out to help you. So I could do that and have something fixed in, you know, in an hour for 25 bucks or something, you know? So there are many, many solutions. Oh, that's really, oh man, I don't, it's, I, it's a little bit breezy. So I'm hoping you can hear me. So I won't yell too loud, but I'll remember the microphone. It's, it just gets windy at night sometimes. Okay. So that's, those are, those are the five steps. Change your self-talk. That'll help you change your belief. And, and then that'll help you change your attitude, which when you change that attitude will help you change your feelings. When you change your feelings, you change your actions. And when you change your actions, you change your results. And that's how it goes. And this is, I help my, uh, my coaching clients. If you are interested in having me guide you as your life coach, these are some of the, these concepts that I help people to really understand and get through the coaching program. It's, um, it's, it's very, very powerful. And I have hired my own coach, my own life coach that is, certified by Dr. Shad Helmstetter as I'm certified as a self-talk trainer and as a life coach by Dr. Shad Helmstetter. So this, but I have hired my own to help me, to guide me so that I stay on my goals. I get my, my goals done correctly. I keep, have that self-talk and I'm editing and I'm monitoring and I'm switching it up to where it's powerful. It's that, that I'm positive as opposed to feeling negative about things and and I get my goals done and so if this if this sounds like something that you would like to have me guide you then just email me with the word winner in the subject line or anywhere in the body just I'm a winner whatever that is <laughs> and we will get in contact and let's start talking and if you know someone that could use my coaching services that would be awesome so let them know about me forward my my video and, you know, I would really love if you could share my video, if you could comment. I'm getting a few more comments here and there. And I just, it just, I go giddy. It just makes me so happy. And, and it's, and right now, because, and you can see that the channel's growing. It's, I mean, started out at 200 and a few in, um, in November of last year. And now I'm almost at 650, which might not sound like a lot if you're looking at all these people who have 10 million and all this of, of people who's, but it's the consistency. And that's another thing that I changed because there was a lot of times when I would do something and then I would think, okay, it's not working. And then I would stop and I wouldn't be consistent. I changed my, my self-talk around that as well. The determination to succeed and helping you to find your purpose is, is a very important thing for me because that is a, it's such a, it is such an important part of when, when we know that we have direction, we are that boat with a very strong, amazing rudder that takes us exactly where we want to go. When you know what your mission is in life, your purpose, it helps you, it guides you in all the decisions you make and you with your self talk, when you change your self-talk also, you start to have, find that you have success in every single area of your life. You think about these five steps that we just talked about and think about what you could do in every area of your life if you applied this, if you changed your attitude. Like if you understood that all these things are beliefs, that they are programs and you can change any of them, absolutely any of them. It's amazing because the brain is plastic, malleable. It switches all the neural pathways the, the little clusters of, of neurons that come together and create these, these pathways that get more and more, the more it's repeated. And this is why you listen, because what Dr. Shad created, you listen passively, but you listen every day, every morning, every night. You listen, you listen, you listen, and you listen passively. It's in the background. You're not like 
What did he say? How wonderful I am? <laughs> Although you could, <laughs> especially the one with self-esteem, that you are unique from your head to your toes and whatever he says, all those wonderful things. And, and it's all very true because you are unique and there is no one else like you and there never ever will be anyone else like you. And when we are so thinking that we are not enough, we're so small, we can't do anything, when yes, we can, our thoughts are things they are energy they move energy it's electrical it's like woof, out into the field we are changing things we are changing our own field call it oh i'm over here we are changing our own field <laughs> and we're doing it with our thoughts we can literally with our thoughts we can change the chemicals in our body we can literally change our 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 dna we can turn genes on turn them off like all kinds of good stuff that's epigenetics and um and Dr. Joe Dispenza's work is really, really awesome in that. There, look, that's that's a little better. You can see it. You can't really see me, but that's again, it's the message. So it's the message that counts. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that I hope that you enjoy this. And I'm, we're going going to spin uh, the the uh, passage for today around. We can hear it one more time. We'll end on that. It's not luck that makes your life work. It's how you look at it. What are we thinking about here? Look at our success. Self-talk to success in five steps. When you change your self-talk, well, this would be what you believe about yourself when you change your attitude. See, when you change what you believe about yourself, you change your attitude. So right there, that it's how I look at it. How do you look at it? What's your attitude? What are you thinking? I choose to see the bright, find the good. Oh, wait, wait. You choose to see the bright, find the good, believe in a positive outcome, and always have faith that you will overcome the challenges and succeed. Yes, you will, just like me with tech, just like you with whatever it is that you think, man, that's so hard, I can, I'll never get it. I'll never get math. <laughs> I'm a girl, I'm not good at math. Mm -hmm. That's what I used to say because that's what I was always told. Well, girls aren't very good at math. So I always thought I wasn't very good at math. I'm like, and, and a problem solver. I'm like, I'm amazing at, well, I'm much better than I was before. <laughs> so let's get back to this. And because that's how you choose to look at your life every day, time after time, you win. Because you are a winner. I'm going to read it all one more time. It's not luck that makes your life work. It's how you look at it. You choose to see the bright, find the good, believe in a positive outcome, and always have faith that you will overcome the challenges and succeed. Yes, you will. And because that's how you choose to look at your life every day, time after time, you win. Do, 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 do. You got it. You go, cutie butt. You are awesome and amazing. I love you so very, very mucho. You can do this. You can find your purpose which is your mission. Think about it as your mission. What's your mission in life? Why are you here? Why'd you come to planet earth? What did you want to accomplish? So you can find your purpose. If you already have your purpose, you can, you can lean into it. You can engage with it. You can activate it. If you haven't yet activated it, you could do all that and you can go within if you don't have it yet and say, what is my, what am I, what am I good at? What, what it comes with ease? What is, what is, Maybe it's even fun and exciting and feels good or it's just soothing, whatever it is. And, and also, people, you can always ask your siblings or your family or good friends and say, how do you see me? What, what am I good at? And, and then when they start telling you, this is when you need to not, you need to go, shh, shh, cover your mouth. Stop your self-talk when they start telling you how amazing you are. <laughs> It says, anyone can do that. Oh, that's easy. Anyone can do that. Because right there is the biggest clue. That is your clue. So listen. Put your little listening ears on. And listen. When you ask that question, just listen. And be very, very grateful for the amazingness that you, the uniqueness that, that is you, that person that is you, the human experience that you have come to experience that is you, has put out this amazingness into the world. So believe it when they tell you. And that self-talk's like, oh no, I'm I, I'm not that great. Uh, Pasha. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I love you so very, very mucho. We will see you tomorrow. And you can do this. I believe in you. And it's always shining my light to brighten yours. See you tomorrow. Ciao.